Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to show you guys how to get this look. This is an ice princess and it is inspired by Maddie. Katie Maddie, I think. And I'll put her Instagram down below so you guys can follow her and check her out. So I am here going to apply the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. You guys know this was the shit in the beginning of my channel. But it never covered up my acne. So like now that my skin's getting so much better and you guys are seeing it. I could finally use it back and it's in the shade golden and I am just putting it all over my face with the beauty blender and I didn't show it on camera but I did put it down my neck, on my ears, you know, everywhere, you know, on my hairline so you won't see if it's darker, if it's lighter, you know, you gotta cover that up. I'll be using this BH Studio Brown. I'm using this gel and these two eyebrow powders for my eyebrows. I'm not specifically doing anything, just underlining my underbrow and then with the gel putting it hair strokes on the ends of my brows because it's kind of like baldish <laughs> and I'm still not good at brows guys. I'm still learning a lot. And yeah, and then now I am gonna put a little bit of concealer. This is Tarte Shape Tape. And I'm gonna be defining my eyebrows with this, underlining them and on the top as well, you know, so the eyebrows can look more sharper and more perfect. <laughs> Now I'm going to be using Tarte Shape Tape under my eyes to conceal those ugly under eyes. And I'm going to be blending out with my Beauty Blender. And it's so amazing guys. I really, really, really recommend the Tarte Shape Tape. It's really good and really full coverage. And it hides murder guys. <laughs> now I'm using the LA Girl um, contour. The concealer, but it's in the contour shade. It's in Cafe, I think. And then my sister came in. Oh, what's she doing in her room? Like, get out, girl. And she's saying here that she didn't have makeup on, and I did. <laughs> How different it makes. But anyways, guys, I'm blending it out with my beauty blender. So I want to see all the harsh things. And I know I had to blend it a little bit more. But, yeah, I don't know. Then I'm using the I Love Sada E's trick, which is, I forgot her name. And which is to spray, setting, setting spray before... Um, setting your face, so I was just trying it out guys. I really don't know how it works. So today's my first time Then I'm setting my face with the airspun translucent powder. You guys know I love this stuff now I'm setting my entire face so it won't move anywhere. Trust me guys. This trick is amazing So now I'm using the BH Cosmetics take me to Brazil palette and I'm using this light blue shade and I'm gonna be going straight into the crease and this is a lighter shade because you know you use lighters for transition so this is basically kind of what I was doing I wish I did another transition shade but this will work so I'm just gonna pack it on a lot of that shade so it can intensify the shade a little little more and now I'm gonna go into this shade right here and I'm gonna be doing that a little lower than I did the other one so I'm just specifically putting it on the crease and then blending it with the big fluffy brush that is from BH Cosmetics as well. I don't specifically know the number of the brush, but I'll put it down below so you guys can get it because it's really bomb, guys. Trust me. Now I'm going into this blue and I'm just going to be, you know, defining the crease a little more than it should be. <laughs> I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape and this Wet n Wild flat brush and I'm going to be cutting my crease. Now I'm going to specifically tell you guys, I'm not. I'm going to show you guys how I do it here. So I'm basically doing a half cut crease because I don't want to do a full because it is the way Maddie did it. I mean Katie did it. Oh, I keep saying Maddie. But I know it looks a little harsh but I'm going to go into that last blue, dark blue shade and I'm going to be like blending it out here so it won't be as harsh and it can look a little ombre and it looks really pretty guys i really really like it now here i'm using the Too faced glitter glue and i'm going to be using it with a small brush i really don't know where this brush is from but i stole it from my mom because it was small and i'm putting the glitter glue there so yes guys i don't have had the tester because i was like i ain't gonna buy that shit <laughs> So, and this lasted me, like, since Halloween. And I accidentally recorded, like, without filming. I thought I was recording. Like, what the fuck? Okay, now I'm putting this NYX white eyeliner. 
liquid white eyeliner so this is not the best guy it's not the best eyeliner but this is the only one i know of and it does crack a lot but on pictures and up here far away you really don't see it so yeah i wish there was like one that doesn't crack because if there is shit tell me i'll buy you there now i'm wiping off all the excess powder that's on my face just you know wiping it off now I'm using the NYX contour palette and using these three shades and contouring my face as usual so we can bring color back up on my face. Guys, I forgot to change my shirt, guys. This is a uh, pajamas, guys. I was so embarrassed. I was like, what the hell? And my sister's like, dude, you look stupid. I'm like, I know, I forgot. <laughs> so now I'm going to be using this blush and it is so bright, but it, honestly, it's my favorite. And after, I didn't show you guys, but I used a beauty blender to like soften it up a bit. And I'm using this pencil, eye pencil. It's a jumbo pencil. And I'm using it as eyeliner in the waterline. And I'm using the blue shade from the dark blue. And I'm just putting it under my eyes. And it looks a little crazy here. But then I'm going to go in with mascara and put mascara under my lashes. So it won't look that crazy on the tops of my lashes as well before I put my lashes. these lashes these are they are from ardell and they are the mega volume i think guys i literally lost my huda beauty i only have one one of the eyelash i lost the other pair and i'm so sad so i have to go buy some new ones because they were my life guys i literally used them for every little thing now i'm going into highlight and i didn't show you guys on here but i did add a little extra more off camera this is the wet and wild and precious petals and i added off camera added a little bit of champagne pop by jacqueline hill and guys just look at this i didn't even add a lot guys and look how bomb this highlight is now i'm going to be using this new lipstick it's by nabby i'm not sure where that company is from i really don't know i just bought it at a store because i thought it looked pretty and it is it is really pretty and i'm just gonna pat it in so it can set a little bit then I'm going to be using my City Color Matte Setting Spray to set this face. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys like this video of this look. <laughs> so if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and comment. <laughs> so with any further ado, see you guys in my next video.